the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord? Well, uh, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah Nakadishan, Jehovah El Olam, the Lord Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Ori, the Lord my life. He has spoken with me uh, this past night, yesterday. And uh, the Lord spoke to me in a very, very tremendous way about events that will take place on the earth. And in this conversation, the Lord took me to Germany. He took me to Germany. And uh, in Germany, the Lord showed me tremendous sexual sin in Germany. And he also took me by the beaches of northern Germany, both sides, the one on the side of Hamburg, the one on the side of Kiel, the other side, the two sides of the beaches of Germany. And the Lord took me into the land also, the land of Germany. And he showed me a lot of sexual sin. I could see a lot of sexual sin in the land of Germany. He also made me see the homosexuality in the land of Germany, how it has been institutionalized. It is accepted. It is acceptable. It is normalized. Prostitution, women are walking nude. Men are involved in immorality too, in a big way. Lesbianism, the gay LGBT parade, this living with a man without marriage, so much sexual sin in the land, including the dressing of the people of Germany. And the Lord then asked me to pronounce the dreadful judgment of the Lord over the nation of Germany. And when I obeyed the Lord and commanded the tremendous judgment of the Lord over the nation of Germany, then I saw, I saw a storm from the ocean and I saw it seen like that, the way the tornado seen, and made its way towards the beaches of Germany. So I've seen the storm coming to Germany. And I do not know whether it was on the North Sea, it looked more like it was from the Baltic Sea side this way, but it came. And when the storm the German. I see a lot of things damaged. I see a lot of people trying to remove things, property from the houses. They were hit by storm. Now, I have not seen so much storm in Germany, but this is now going to take place. A historic storm is going to storm and hit and strike the nation of Germany. Because of sexual sin in Germany, because of godlessness in Germany, because of heathenism, just not caring, and Eastern religion, the yogas, meditations, and what, that have replaced the worshipping of Jesus in Germany. Germany was begun and born as a God-fearing nation. Germany was known for its Christianity, 
when they began, Germany was very much known for Christianity. And one can see that in the many, many churches that are all over the land. They are now ancient, they are now old churches, abandoned, most of them. But those are the footprints on the ground that the people of Germany had worshipped Jesus before and had loved Jesus. But now there is so much sexual sin, deception, the church has died in Germany. The few churches that are here and there, they have turned into commercial ventures, artificialism, where they worship and preach the modern life, the present life, the here and now of Germany. And so the Lord is commanding the nation of Germany to repent, to repent and turn away from sin. The Lord is instructing the church in Germany to call for the national repentance order from Berlin all throughout to Frankfurt, to Bremen, all the way to Hamburg, down to Munich, to Stuttgart, to Mannheim, and every single city, even Koblenz, born. The Lord is called for a national repentance in Germany that he may restore them, that he may bring them back to Jesus, that they too may be given a real opportunity to prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah. The Lord commanded me to pronounce for a tremendous judgment over the land of Germany this past night. And when I did so, a historic flood, a storm came from the ocean, and I see as though it is coming from the Black Sea this night. I see the ringing of the storm, the way the tornadoes form. At that gulf, coming to strike Germany. So this is the moment of renewal, a refreshing moment, when Germany, too, can prepare for revival, can prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Germany is known as the economic powerhouse of Europe, and of course the world, but Europe, where they are located. And so the Lord is saying that much as you are a leader in Europe, there is a real opportunity here for you also to be the spiritual powerhouse of Europe when this revival of repentance and the return to holiness and the worshiping of holy Jesus, the one that is holy, that died on the cross, that gave us the grace, the gospel of the grace, the one that sent us the Holy Spirit to help us to be holy, for he is holy. So I see the judgment of the Lord that I pronounced this night, the past night, coming to Germany. So right now, as we speak, the Lord is calling the nation to repentance, national repentance, the turning away from sin. And that's why now, that's why at this hour, the Lord God Almighty is using this sign to awaken the church, the body of Christ, to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. The Bible in the book of Luke, Luke chapter 21 from verse 25, he says, There will be sign in the sun, moon and stars. On the earth, nations 
will be in anguish and perplexity at the rumbling and tossing of the sea. Verse 26 of Luke 21, he says, People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world. For the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, they will see the Son of Man in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, verse 28, stand up and lift up your head because your redemption is growing near. And in the book of Joel, Joel chapter 2, verses 30 and 31, he says, I will show wonders in the heaven and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. Verse 31, the sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So the book of Luke chapter 21 and Joel chapter 2 come out very, very clearly on the signs of the time. And right now, there is this tremendous shaking of the heavenly bodies that has begun. Began with a massive titanic collision of the two neutron stars that the Lord commanded me to institute above the heavens here, above the sky, way back, as far back as 2005. He continued taking me up there 2007 and eight also. Shaking the entire universe. And yet, in Luke 2, he says, when you see the roaring and the tossing of the sea, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and the tossing of the sea. And he says, people will faint from terror apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. And he says, when you see all these things, then you should stand up and lift up your head, because your redemption is drawing near. Right now, apart from the shaking of the heavenly bodies, Now is the roaring and the tossing of the sea. All this is tied by the Lord unto repentance. The repentance revives the needs of this hour. The need for the church to purge, to be purged of sin. The need for the hearts of men to mow down the mountains that have exalted themselves above Christ Jesus. The need for the depressions and the valleys of sexual sin in the hearts of men to now be filled in the highway of the Lord, the way of the Lord made straight and marked. This is the hour of opportunity. This is the hour at which it's most exciting to be a Christian, to be born again, and born again well. Receive Jesus and reject sin and wickedness. Reject sexual sin, sexual lust. This is the hour. The Lord has spoken so clearly with maximum clarity about the coming of the Messiah and the standards of that day. For without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. 
The Lord is saying that blessed are those whose ears have partaken of this caution tonight. That the hour to be right with the Lord is now. That nobody knows the day or the hour. However, for they that prepare, blessed are they. They will be the beholders of the eternal Lord of kingdom of Jehovah. I have seen the Messiah coming. I have seen the judgment of the Lord according to words of my tongue. Strictly according to words of my tongue, I have seen a storm, one of them coming now to Germany, also through the Baltic Sea. This is the hour to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. May those who have ears listen to the voice of the Lord. Toda and thank you.